Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play for Vintage Story. This is version 1.15, the homesteading update. This has been inspired by the Terra Firmicraft mod from Minecraft and many other mods, so this is effectively a standalone version of those mods. I'm not into a long intro, so let's just get into this. We're going to be playing another 108 days of wilderness survival, except there's currently a bug in Wilderness Survival that prevents any music from playing, and I kind of want music. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Standard, and then just fill in all of the survival Wilderness Survival settings in here. So, let's go down the list real quick. The only changes need, that need to be made are as follows. Body temperature is supposed to go to... 10 degrees. Let's see, next is micro block chiseling. We'll set that to off. Random respawn radius is 5,000 blocks. Next is creature strength. Set that to 150. Player hit points. Where are you? Right here, 10 per HP, hunger rate. 125% block gravity is sand, gravel, and soil. Where are you? Okay. Food spoilage rate is 125%. Tree sapling growth is times 8. Uh, what the hell? I am losing track of these options. Surface copper is very rare. Surface tin is never. Okay. Temporal storms is at every five to ten days. We're almost done here. Temporal gear respawn uses is two times. Now, this looks like a new setting as of 1.15 it used to be you can have you just set the respawn with a temporal gear and this will be infinite but now it looks like i can only use this two times so i will have to keep a stockpile of temporal gears in order to refresh the respawns so that's uh that might be a big deal later on and then the rest of these settings i can just check off and these are wilderness survival settings. So let's apply that, even though it says standard, we're actually playing on wilderness survival. Except I get music now. Alright, so let's create this world. Just like the last playthrough, I'll be playing for 108 days or one in-game year. So that's 12 months, 9 days per month. And we will see the new settings, new features that has been added to the game since then. Alright, let's do this. GLHF. I don't need to read that. Now, here's one of the changes they made. It's the voice type. So I get to pick my voice, and unfortunately, there is not a single human voice here. So I'm just going with trumpet very high and he looks good and out of these classes i am just going to pick commoner because i pretty much do a little bit of everything so i don't want any positive or negative traits all right let's do this and we start right beside a trader let's go check him out now one of the things i'm looking for in this trader is storage which she has none uh oh okay we got an agriculture trader so he can sell us some food and seeds and he's got some blue cheese and that's pretty much it wait what can i sell him okay so i can sell him bowls and that's pretty much it oh i can sell him some closed wooden crates and yeah, that's pretty much it. So he's got a bed. He's got an aged wooden bed. So best bed in the game. 
I can sleep there if I absolutely need to. And he has no storage, so that's kind of a bummer. Usually these traders have storage where you can put stuff in, and that's really useful early on in the game. Especially when you have, like, no storage at all. It's a good place to store stuff. Anyway, let's get our tech tree going, of sorts. I don't know what it's officially called in this game, but I'm just calling it a tech tree because I call lots of games, lots of things in games tech trees. It's basically progress. And we need some sticks and then I'll be able to get some knives. And then we're gonna go for the cattails so we can get our inventory going. So I start with zero inventory. The only storage I have is in my hotbar. So it's important to get the inventory up and running early. And how long until... Okay, five days until the first temporal storm. So we have to work quickly. And where's water? Well, that's water. Where's the cattails? I cannot see any cattails in the distance. So you know what? I'm going to go in this direction. Try to find some sort of pond or something so we can get some cattails. In the meantime, I'm going to pick up some fruit here. Because I do want some fruit going. Need a food supply. Berries are like the easiest food supply you can have. Oh, here we go, cattails. Now what I'm looking for is 64 cattails, so one full stack of these things. And this will give me four baskets for my inventory, as well as 24 cattails for one storage. The basket will give me eight inventory slots, or eight storage, that I can put on the ground. Oh yeah, I forgot to check what kind of rocks are in this region. I saw those gray rocks over there, so we have andesite. And what are those rocks up there? I'm gonna have to check that later on, but first we do this. Now what I like to do for my base is set up right beside the trader over there, just so I have easy access to a trader. Even though he doesn't have anything particularly useful for me, what I can do is make some of those bowls. And if I find some wooden crates, I can sell it to him and get some gears. That's basically the currency in the game. So when I find other traders, I'll be able to buy stuff from them. But first we have to locate them. One thing at a time though, let's get these up and running. So I'm going to need more cattails for the time being. Let's do this. A two, I need two more. All right, so we got 12 inventory slots now. Next, I'm gonna have to track down some more flint. What are these rock types anyway? Okay, we're in sandstone. So those rocks are pretty much useless for napping. They're too weak. Got some lead here, that's useless. Or is there a use for this in this version? Gotta stay away from these holes because you can actually fall down. Got some lead and we got flint. Gotta try to track down some more flint. At this point in the game we need as much flint as possible so we can make our tools. There we go. And we got some more cattails. 
Now I need 24 cattails in order to make a storage. Now I'm ignoring these crops for now because I don't want this filling up my inventory. I can't use them anyway. So we'll just leave it on the, on the ground for now. And I'll just collect these berries. And that'll handle our food needs for the time being. Got some sheep around. Now in the last playthrough, only a limited number of music tracks were playing. That's why it was important for me to try and get that fixed for this version. And I did report that to the to the developer. So they were supposedly going to fix it. In fact, in the patch notes it says they did fix it, except it's not fixed. I'll just finish getting these Cooper reeds. But anyway, I just wanted to get that bug fixed before this version came out, but unfortunately it wasn't fixed. So this is a workaround. Just pick the uh, survival playstyle and then put all of settings to wilderness survival settings. So now for this playthrough, I will have all of the music playing in the background. And they did, they did say it was a bug. And I just wanted that fixed. It's a low priority bug, so it's not a huge deal. I'll report it to them after this play session that the bug is still not fixed. But in the meantime, we're just going to get our base set up. And then we'll start working through the ages again. And I think I have enough lint here. So let's get a shovel, let's get our tools going. So right now, all I really need are axes and shovels. I can build the spears later since it doesn't look like there are any hostiles around. Oh, I do need sticks. So two axes. Wait, didn't I? Wait, no, I didn't. I was going to make two axes. Then I can begin chopping down trees. Oh, one th other thing. I checked the patch notes and they actually made an alternate recipe for ladders like not just like the rope ladders like you can now make ladders with ropes but you can also have an alternate recipe for the wooden ladders so I don't need as many sticks anymore actually let me check the recipe real quick except it yeah wooden rat wooden ladder yeah it uses boards to make these ladders. Now, the amount of ladders it makes, I don't know, but we at least have a way to make ladders that doesn't require as many sticks. So that is insanely useful because those of you who remember the last playthrough, it was really tedious for me to make ladders. I'm gonna start cutting this down. And then I'm actually going to make a temporary structure, like I'm not going to build our main house at this point in time. I'm going to take some uh, packed dirt, just make a little thing for us to live in while we get our main house up and running. And there's more flint. And more flint, and more flint. I'm going to continue cutting this down. So 
So for this playthrough in this early stage of the game, I'm not going to prioritize copper. Instead, I'm going to prioritize getting our farms up. Since we don't really need to do any sort of uh, metalworking in order to get farms up and running. You know what, this is a pretty flat area. Maybe I could set up here. I'd have to clear out the flowers though. And where is the crater? It is right there. And that is very deep. You know what, let's stay away from there. I think, let's just set up over maybe here. Okay, entrance to a hole. I just want to set up close to the trader somewhere. Uh, oh, first I need to get some dirt. Let's see. So these blocks that are sticking up on the ground, we'll just clear those out just so we can flatten this area. Maybe I'll start digging into this area. Don't really want the flowers though. At least not yet. The only purpose of the flowers is for beekeeping, so we'll need them eventually. But like not right now. Probably should have made a second shovel. I think I need to eat. Might as well get our nutrition up. And it'll go up just a little bit. There's our shovel. Probably should make another two shovels. Then after this, we'll start making our house. But yeah, one of the features they added, I should probably mention this, is that when the durability of your tool reaches zero, when it breaks, it automatically moves another one of your tools into that same slot. So you don't need to like reorganize your inventory or rearrange stuff. You can just keep digging. Just watch this, watch this. Snap. And I just keep digging. You know, this is a really convenient feature. So it's really cool that they added this in. I'm just going to clear out this area here. And then I'll begin setting up my temporary house. Oh, there's some flint here. Got to take that. How much dirt do I have? I have two stacks already. I don't think it's enough though, so I'm just gonna keep digging. Three stacks will probably be enough. It's better to have a little bit more than not enough. Okay, we're almost there. There we go, another snap. Oh, you should cut these down.
Now, when night falls, the drifters are going to start spawning. By then, I will need three spears to help defend myself. And actually, I'm done here. Oh, oak seed. Oh, yeah, I should probably mention, we have seeds now instead of saplings. So we have to put these down. These will sprout in about nine days, and then we'll have saplings. So all it really does is make the amount of time that trees grow longer. All right, it's time to put down my house. Maybe somewhere close there, somewhere near, somewhat close to this hole, but not too close. So I think this will be a good area. Now I feel like filling that in, just so we have that area to build on. There we go, three stacks of dirt. One, two, three, four. Oh, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we'll build our house like so. You might probably should build in these corners here. Just so I can have like a window of sorts around my entire temporary house. And we build it like this. This way I have vision of around my entire house here. Make it easier to defend. And also... Let's build a thing up here, just so we can get up top here. And this is a very temporary structure. And there we go, we just need a house now. Now, one of the things they added was a door. Where's the door? Rough wooden door. Okay, so... We need to construct... Get out of the way. This thing needs to get out of the way. Let's move this right over here. There we go, now we can see it. So we need sticks right here. And then an axe here. A nice wooden door. What? Uh huh. All right. You know what? You do that. Now, next thing I need to do. Oh, we need to get fire going. I need to get some torches up and running. So I need stick here or is it okay this is how you do it. This is how you make the fire starter and then uh, let's just clear this out. I probably should clear out this grass later on. Let's get our fire pits going here. I probably should get my storage up and running as well. Yeah, there we go. And I'm actually one cattail short 
of another basket. That's okay. Oh, we need to get rid of this thing. I'll put you right here next to your exact other thing there. Uh, what, I, what was I going to do? Okay, cut some firewood. Uh, let's use all of this, or wait. Let's just use a little bit of firewood here. While we're here, let's burn all of these sticks. Get this fire going. Now, if I remember correctly, I think I did see a peat deposit. Oh, come on. Really? Come on. Come on. Come on. Are you serious? <laughs> Light up, damn it. There you go. All right, now we can toss this, this, and these. We don't need it. Or this, this, or this. Or actually, birch seeds, let's plant them right now. Just so we can get these things going. I'm pretty sure there was some kind of peat deposit, though it's kind of hard to see now. Like I swear, I could I could have sworn there was a peat deposit somewhere around here. If not, that's fine. We can just cut Where's where's my axe though? There it is. We can always cut some more uh, firewood. But it's much more efficient if we use peat. I just can't find them anymore. And the sun is going down. Going down, down, down. Uh, you know what? Let's go back to base. Hi there. I'm going to stay away from you. Oh, I do need clay, so might as well take this as well. You know, I actually forgot about the clay. And I do need this so I can start forming those storage vessels. Oh, and one other thing. There is a new way of uh, firing the clay. You're supposed to create something called a... Uh, what's it called? A kiln. There's like one more word in there, but it's basically a place in the ground where you fire up all your clay products. 